Hi guys, I'm back with another video. I just wanted to show you a couple more batches of soaps that I have. Um, I will be listing these by the end of the day, of today, <laughs> not the day. Um, let me see, which one is this one here? Hold on. Okay, this one is called Tinsel. And Tinsel smells like candy, like peppermint candy. No, not, not peppermint candy, the candy canes. Um, it smells sweet. It's, um, oh, it's a really nice scent. It's, it mainly smells like, um, the, the candy cane with, um, other notes, but I really, really suck at describing them. So I'll just link the description, but I am picking other notes up on this. It's really nice, um, sweet and clean. So what I did with Tinsel was um, I threw in some soap balls in there. I gave it like a um, burgundy and white swirl. And also it has the natural color. And then I just put a little frosted dollop on top. And it has glitter and some pearls on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some pearls are there. I don't have many bars of this. They all look different, of course. I did a, um, mm, this smells so good. I did a, um, a funnel technique on this one without using the funnel. So that is what the bar looks like. Let me get rid of that paper. So that is tinsel. And let's see which one other one I have not shown you. Okay, here we have apple cinnamon. And apple cinnamon, I used um, another mold, a silicone mold that I have. And it's this shape. It is going to give you a smaller bar, well, a narrower bar. Um, but I cut it chunkier. So they're still big bars. I think these are coming in at like six ounces. Um, yeah, like six ounces. So, and all I did was give it a natural, it has a natural color, and then it has a deeper burgundy in there with a lighter red and a swirly top with some iridescent glitter. And it smells so good. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like, um... If you ever take a Macintosh apple, or no, not a Macintosh, like a Granny Smith apple, and you bake it in the oven with the cinnamon and the sugar, and you know how you, if you sniff it right when it's done, and um, that's what this smells like. It is so nice, and I have a small loaf for that, that um, one, two, three, four, five, six bars only, and I'm not sure, but I think I'm keeping one of them for myself. This one over here, <laughs> this one is um, a bar that I made, well, a loaf that I made with um, a girlfriend of mine. And she wanted to see how soap was made. So she came over and she, she decided to put the hearts and stuff on the top. It looks really pretty. It's a hot pink with green. And this one is Tayberry and Teakwood. And it smells so, so nice. It's like, uh, you can smell like the tea, and you can smell like greens, and a little bit of floral, even. But the floral is not the main scent. It's, it's if you sniff it for a while, you kind of pick up something in the background. So, and then um, it has a little bit of a green um, layer in there, which you really you can't really see <laughs> but again this one was using the silicone mold it smells really nice nice and clean powdery scent I love it so that one I don't have many either so I will be listing these and of course these are ready to ship out um, but you can't use them until the date that I have on the listing so keep that in mind so that is Tayberry and Teakwood. Really, really nice scent. Then over here, 
I have four bars of Hippie Christmas and it's just a like a green base with red in it and then I have a Santa face and a little Christmas tree and these bars are I think they come in at 10 ounces because I wanted each bar to have a Santa and a tree so I had to cut them wider and this one smells oh it smells so good it smells like candy like candy like a peppermint like a candy cane with other candies in there it's sweet it's a really nice scent of course the description will be um, at in each listing because I always put the description of the scent on each listing so that is what they look like and I just put a little bit of iridescent glitter and these got a little bit of frost on them not frost I'm not talking about candles geez these have a little bit of ash on them on the top very very light but I actually like it because it looks um, antique -y. like it has that oxidized look and I, I like it and some of the soaps I like when it has a little bit just a little bit I don't like a lot but a little bit of frost on it just gives it a little bit of character so that is that and all the bars are different I just did I think I did an in the pot sore with this one so that's what they look like smell really really good there's only four bars to go around so um, I might be listing these as well and that is it and then I of course I I just soaped a frosted pumpkin and I have some other scents that I have to soap um, and I will do that little by little <laughs> um, between work and stuff I really don't have much time I have to list these up too um, this is hippie Christmas the um, goat's milk body icings and then this is the Tayberry and Teakwood and these are all four ounces I am discontinuing a lot of my products only because I don't have the time that I used to have before to you know make a lot of things and you know have a nice range but I am going to stay with my Shea Sugar body polish and I'm gonna stay with my um, lotions and my soaps and what else there's something else I'm gonna stay with I'm debating whether I should continue with the shampoo bars um, I'm not sure if I will so yeah I'm cutting back on a lot of things and just stay with you know kind of the basics so yeah that is it for now guys I hope you guys are all having a good Sunday and I will be back I think by the end of next week or the following week I am going to be starting on my candles um, I like to have my jar candles for Christmas because they are a hot seller in my town. I think I mentioned that before. So I might offer the, some of the jar candles online. I'm not quite sure yet. But um and my soy can my soy tarts, they I will definitely be offering them on the site. So look out for those um within the next few weeks. So yeah, that is it guys. All right. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. You know what? Bye.